Hello, y'all out there on YouTube. This is Rob from Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today I've got an unboxing for you I'm pretty excited about. Got a box coming in from African Sporting Creations. Something I found online after I saw another reviewer talk about a knife. I was very excited and looked it up and happened to find one of the retailers. Uh, I think they only have three direct retailers that actually carries this here in the USA. So this came in from Mansfield, Ohio from African Sporting Creations. Definitely check those guys out. Definitely worth your worth your time here. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box right here. We're going to dig right in today and take a look at this little this little box here. I'm going to just open this right here. Uh, let me see if I can get in here without revealing personal information. Let's see if we can do that. Get in there. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Well, an extra piece of cardboard. I'm not sure that's for. Ah, yes. You see that? That is a Arno Bernard. Arno Bernard knives. All right. Today, by the way, I'm opening it with a Leon Ma GST2. Um, beautiful M390 blade with space coral inlays or inserts. I don't know what you call them with a bolster lock. One of my favorite knives. I really, really enjoy. I think this is my probably my my top knife right now. Maybe until this one. All right, so let's take a look what this is. Arno Bernard. It's a little picture of what we are looking at, and it's called the, I don't know if you can see that, it's called the iMamba Plain Frame. They have some that are not plain with some fantastic inserts. I think one of them is a mammoth tusk or something crazy like that. I don't know. Just crazy stuff. Now, these guys, Arno Bernard is out of Africa. There's four brothers that work, I think, it was founded by their father, and the four brothers still make the knives by hand. So this would be, I believe, considered a custom. It is made by them, not completely in uh, like a production line, like a machine where everything's just assembled. They touch almost every part of this knife. Um, I read on their site, I think they touch it like 200 times before the knife is complete. With all that being said, let's jump right in. All right, so here we are, the I Mamba. If you can see that, I Mamba knives. And this is the iMamba Model 8200 Plain Frames. Steel is RWL 34. That's like a 154, kind of a high end 154. It's an older steel, but great steel. Really fantastic steel to work with. I know it's for you know knife makers, it's a great steel to work with, but it's just a solid steel. I have no problem with that. And it talks about a sheath because these guys started off making fixed blades. That's what they're really known for, fixed blades. And then I think they did a slip joint. And then from the slip joint, they did this thing. So we're going to take a look at that here in just a second. I am super excited about this. So if you, if you get a chance, check them out there, okay? And it comes with a, a Frank Hank. All right, let's see what that is. Okay, South Africa, South Frank Hank. That's nice. That's nice. Ooh, and it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's like micro, micro uh, cloth on the backside. That'll be real nice to clean things off with. Super excited about that. All right, well, here we go. There it is. It's got a lanyard, it looks like. Let's take her out. Okay, we'll move that off to the side. I've got the Frank Hink over here. We'll just keep that off to the side. All right, here we go. All right, I love this right here. It's kind of reminiscent of a Chris Reeve, like an Um Nooms on or a Sabenza. Um, really nice, beautiful. It looks like glass bead blasted. I love the feel of that. Uh, it's got a little fuller in here. Yep, definitely very sharp. You can catch on there, so that's nice. Rounded top here. It looks like very cham chamfered. That's nice. And here's a lanyard. I'm not a super big fan of lanyards, so I'll probably take this off, you know. But, you know, for those of you who love lanyards, there you go. Let's take a look at the center now, this puppy. Yeah, that is definitely dead center. And got a flipper here. All right, beautiful. All right, so here we go. Let's do our first flip. Oh yeah, look at that. Man, that is, oh, my fingerprint's already on there. Wipe that down, there we go. Look at that blade, do you see that? That's a recurve blade. Look at that, wow, that is shiny, well polished. I love that, I love that. The edge, oh yeah, crazy sharp. I can shave my arms with that thing when I, when I test to see how sharp that is. Okay, and I love that pivot. Do you see that pivot? That is a gorgeous pivot. I love that. 
That is really nice. And I love the little AB for Arno Bernard right there, like a little design. Sort of like what, I, you know, Chris Reed does that, and I love that. I wish more people would do that. So I'm really excited Chris Reed does that and Arno Bernard. I know a few other people do it, and I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but that's just a nice touch. And look at that, nothing on the blade. It is a plain blade. No marking on something. And a blade this gorgeous, that would be a sin, I think, to put something on there. All that good work, and then if you left something on there, yeah. That's a good decision by them. I like that. Love this clip. Ooh, that is a mill titanium clip. Do you all see that? That is a mill titanium clip. Beautiful little ramp up here. Perfect. Look at that. Ooh, that's got great traction. Look at that. That's going to fit in fantastically. It is a liner lock. And yep, that looks like a steel insert there. Yep, I don't know if you can see that little steel insert. That'll be great. You won't worry about any lockup. That's nice. Or lock stick. That's really great. I love that. So there are two screws here, two screws here, and that's it. And I bet the screw, if you see it, yep, sure enough, there's a screw. It's on the inside right there. I don't know if we can see that. Yeah, I don't know if you can quite see that right there. But the screw on the inside, I love that hidden. That, oh, and it fits beautifully. A little jimping up here. Okay, enough for traction, but not aggressive. Not going to cut and sandpaper your finger off or anything. So that's nice, but enough to get some traction on there. The blade shape is fantastic. Definitely can do some precision cuts. Let's drop this. Let's see how it goes down. Oh, that's buttery smooth. Yeah. Look at that. that is, I mean, I wish you could, could convey to you how buttery smooth this is. It is just simply freaking amazing. Wow. I love that. That is simply amazing. All right. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm not a lanyard fan. You see that? Caught on the lanyard. Matter of fact, I think I'm probably gonna See if I can get rid of this right away. Not, I don't cut them off because you know what? I believe this is made out of, let's use this right here. It's made out of kangaroo leather. And that to me, that's pretty exotic and cool. And I'd hate to just throw something like that away. Okay, so we need to probably get a little more room over here so we can get it through the loop. All right, and if you hear anything in the background, my wife is watching a movie, and I'm in my office, which is right next to our living room, so I apologize if you all hear that. There's nothing going on outside. It's just a, she's watching a little movie here on a Sunday morning. Uh, I was hoping this would be a little easier for me to get off. <laughs> well, let's see if we can get this off. All right. Maybe I need to have a little more room. Oh, I think I got it. Here we go. We cleared it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Anyways, this is a beautiful lanyard. I love this leather. It's really soft and plush. Love how they weave that and tie that. I'm definitely going to save this. Definitely worth keeping. Um, if I ever, for any reason, sell I, I really don't think I'm going to be selling this. This is going to move into my top five. I have no doubt. Just initial impressions, I'm definitely thinking it's a top five. Oh, my gosh. Look at that buttery smooth clothes. I, it, I wish I could tell you exactly how buttery smooth this is. But... I don't know. You'll have, you'd have to get one yourself. And so if we look at this, I don't know if you can see that, the recurve right there. And can we, can you get in on that? Let's see if we can see that real quick. The recurve on that is just phenomenal. Comes to a, oh yeah, look at that thin edge, fantastic. Anyways, gorgeous knife, I love it. Let's see here, do a left, yeah. Close it, Let's see, can we do a fuller, oops. Yeah, that, that works nice. It's got to get used to that. That's different. Something I've not had before. See if I can do it the first time on the right. Ooh, got it first time. There we go. Nice. I love that. Again, gorgeous knife. I think I'm going to enjoy carrying this one for sure. You know, this being so nice, I, I pulled something out that I knew I was probably going to carry as a fifth pocket knife because this is so gorgeous, and I, I knew the blade was going to be shiny. I have a little baby banter. I don't normally carry this, but this was going to be my fifth pocket knife. I think I'll be carrying it with this for any sort of work that I have a worry that I could scratch the blade or anything aggressive. I will have this, or if someone wants to borrow a knife, I would lend this first because, quite frankly, this is a beautiful knife that I want to keep beautiful. I love it. This is like a church knife, business knife, whatever, first impression knife. I love it. Man, I bet when that breaks in, that's going to be drop shutting. But either way, the smoothness is phenomenal. All right, well, this is the Arnold Bernard iMamba. 
Um, looks like glass bead blasted titanium, plain outside. You can get some of these with uh, mammoth tusk and some other bone boar, whatever, some wild African things that they have you can put on there. It's really cool. And I love, by the way, the flipper. Here, look at that little jimping on there. Enough for, a, definitely can get good traction. I love the shape of this flipper. This is, to me, is perfect. It's not a weird shaped flipper. And it looks like I can do push button. Let's let's try this again. Probably do the light switch. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, light switch too. So whatever's your preference. I like them both. Really, really, really nice, nice little knife here. Oh, by the way, there's only one, um, um, oh my gosh, I was gonna say backspacer, but that's not a backspacer and I, my brain went blank. We were out of town last night for my son's all day band competition in Dallas. And I think I got maybe four hours of sleep the day before, and I slept like nine hours last night. So my brain's a little foggy this morning, and I apologize. So anyways, uh, uh, standoff. Standoff, there we go. <laughs> I was hoping it'd come to me as I'm talking. But anyways, so one standoff, one pivot. Beautiful pivot design. I mean, I don't know if you could see that. Do you, do you see that pivot? Can you see that? I mean, that pivot is just, I don't know, it's just gorgeous. Just simply gorgeous. Here, let's get a little close up to see if we can get a close up on a knife and see everything. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. I think this knife is just worth a close up. Definitely worth a close up. Let me look at the back here. See if we can see all that. Let's open it up and we'll take a look at that blade again. Get you a nice close look. Yeah, I already got my fingerprints on there. Sorry, let's clean that off. Here we go. Definitely gonna have some fingerprints from this one, but you know what? This is just such a gorgeous blade. It really is. Just, I mean, I can't tell you how excited I am about this knife. This is uh, a stunner, amazing, gorgeous. If you can get a hold of one of these, go get one. I know when I checked out at African Sporting Good Creations, they had a bunch of these, and I was on uh, Tri State EDC's live stream, and I mentioned it to him, and he got one too, and I think he loves it as well. I spoke to him on this morning, matter of fact, and he, which is Sunday morning, he has a, another live stream. I got on there late because we woke up late, but he talked about his and he loves it too. I think he's got a good impression of it. I know Lefty EDC had one of these. He didn't like the detent. So I'll just tell you, I like lighter detents. And when I heard that Lefty returned his because he didn't like the light detent, not because I, you know, I love a lot of his stuff, but... I do, don't do mind lighter detents. As a matter of fact, sometimes I tune my knives to be a little lighter detent. And that is pretty relatively simple. If there's a knife that you really like and it's a detent issue, you can fix that. That is very fixable. I have done that on a ton of lives, a ton of knives, and uh, something worth considering because you can make a knife that you might be questionable on being a keeper, an absolute keeper as a result. So, but I like this light detent. To me, it's what it does. It gives me just that beautiful drop shut, smooth action, and I enjoy that. For me, that's something that's meaningful. I know other people love a really strong detent where they have that super powerful flick. You know, and if that's the case, and if I did like that, I would probably tune this detent a little bit here, make it a little bit stronger for sure. And I think you would have what you're looking for. Uh, but on a knife like this, and I can also see why he returned it. This is a custom, right? This is handmade. You don't want to do that. I mean, you don't want to risk doing something to such a beautiful knife. And, and I get that. That makes perfect sense to me. But on other knives, maybe a little less expensive, easy fix, right? And I probably would be hesitant to adjust something like this for sure. All right. Well, hey, thanks thanks for checking out uh, my unboxing here today. I really appreciate it. If you like some of this content and you want to see more, would you mind hitting the subscribe button? And then also maybe hitting the like button as well. Uh, really helps me know that I'm bringing you good content. Also, check out my Instagram. It's Rob's underscore 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 knives. So it's Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Sorry, Rob's underscore nerdy underscore knives. Late night, like I said, we were all day in Dallas. So I'm a little tired this morning. My brain's a little foggy. So I apologize if I skip a few words here and there. But uh, thanks again for watching. And y'all have a great weekend and a great Sunday.